Hi, welcome back to my channel. Let's get straight into it. Okay, you've got the Priestess Illumination. This is the way this person is presenting themselves. You've got all the colors of the rainbow here. Very beautiful. This person is going to be um, very inspiring. Okay, very uplifting, very engaging, very inspiring. All these colors, he really symbolize that this person is quite quirky, a little bit unconventional perhaps, but they have something about them that makes you feel giddy and hopeful um, and really, really excited to be, um, be around them, okay? There's some stars in these cards. You've got the moon, possibly a cancer coming through here, the stars, okay, Aquarius. You've got a bird, so a messenger here, communication. Um, this person is opening up their heart. It's really all, the, all those colors of the rainbow, um, you know, are, are coming from this person's heart. I do feel like you have someone coming through that's um, opening their heart to love. Um, they're very compassionate. They care about people a lot, okay? So they've got a big heart. They've got a lot of love to give um, is what I'm sensing with this person here. Um, illumination says that this person will shine a light to a lot of things happening around you in your own life. And what this means is, is that this person got, is going to come in and... Um, you're going to have an epiphany or some sort of realization around them. Now, this is quite powerful. I do believe on some level this person has an ability to do this to people. Um, it's not that they nitpick, but they just have a tendency to bring things to the surface. Illumination is all about bringing things to the surface, highlighting them and ensuring that they are out in the open. So essentially what this is, is, is that this person is going to shine a light on other areas of your life, on your struggles, um, on your imperfections, on your strengths, you know, on your capabilities. They're going to come in and illuminate something, um, something in your life, okay? Uh, very powerful here. Let's see what else comes in. My deck upside down. Yes, it is. Okay, the Empress. This is really beautiful. Sun energy. There's a lot of reds here, and then you've got the sun. An Aries Sag or Leo coming through for some of you. Um, you'll, you'll be very attracted to this person, okay, whether male or female. Um, they've got an elegance about them, um, a femininity or a masculinity about them. The butterflies, they'll make you want to be a better person, but I also feel like there's change and transformation happening around them. Um, there's some sort of metamorphosis, okay. Um, the Empress is very earthly and very sensual, so very strong sexual attraction, um, okay, the flowers in full blossom. Um, it'll be a very natural connection between the two of you. Um, this person could be quite outdoorsy and very in touch with nature as well. Okay, they could be a bit of a humanitarian, um, a philanthropist. They could um, advocate or champion certain rights or groups or communities or charities even. Um, they might help people change or transform through beauty, through psychology, um, through the spiritual realm. Uh, it could be a plethora of things, but um, the Empress is very fruitful, okay? So fruitfulness, fertility, abundance. This person might have children, might want children, would be a very good mother or father figure to your children if you have any. Um, like a moth to a flame. It's a very magnetic, they've got a magnetic personality here, um, but there's also a certain delicate nature about them, okay? So they could be quite softly spoken or something here, maybe. Okay, very nice. Okay, the Two of Swords has come up. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. They may also be under the sign of a Gemini here, okay, with the Two of Swords. This points to duality, indecisiveness or decision. The Cancer Moon. This is powerful. The sun is divine masculine. The moon is divine feminine. Uh, very powerful connection. I, um, but again, there's there's a balance. I feel like their their natal birth chart is made up of um, an even balance of masculine and feminine elements or signs. Okay, the two of swords, indecisiveness, lack to make the. Uh, not confident to make a decision, might have a lot of choices around them in love, might have sabotaged a previous relationship because of insecurities or mental judgment um, is coming up with the two of swords. Love hangs in the balance. Love is a very sensitive issue for this person. I don't think they've had much luck in love. And if they have, it's been people have been attracted to them and there hasn't been a, a very deep um, 
a very deep and real and raw connection with the uh, Two of Swords. They could also be at a very, um, they could be at a standstill right now in their life. There could be a major decision. They're at a crossroads. It could be career choice. It could be choosing between lovers, family members. They might be involved in some sort of fight here as well. And they're at they're at a crossroads. A standstill is, is, is what comes up. Okay, the moon. Cancer energy coming through with the moon. Cancer, sun, moon, rising or Venus sign that is coming through with the moon card. Now, emotionally speaking, this person can have Cancerian energy around them. And this would speak of their compassionate nature, which I believe they have, okay? They care a lot for people. They invest emotionally a lot for people. But when they get hurt or if someone does something to them, they'll, they'll, they won't forget it. They'll try to forgive, but they'll never forget, okay? Again, duality comes up. You can see she's got a mask. They could have a dual nature about them. They might present themselves one way, but deep down, I think there's definitely a more emotionally charged side to them. Divine Feminine has come up quite strongly, so they might have a lot of feminine features or a lot of grace, elegance, creativity, nurturing energy to them. They could also have very good relationships with the females in their lives. I, I, I don't think this person is, you know, the real open social type. I think they have a few select group of friends and people they keep very close to them. They very much nurture those existing relationships and or connections because to them it's all about emotional value and if someone shows them care, sentiment, devotion, respect, honor and this it's reciprocated from them. So I, I like that they have this value about them with that moon card. They could also help or work with couples or help people emotionally, um, help people beautify their lives or improve on their lives, help people make decisions, okay, um, about certain things as well. I do sense they are quite a creative person, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're in the creative realm, if they read, write, inspire. You know, I think they dabble in a lot of different things. I think they're a good storyteller as well. And... Off with the fairies comes to mind. There's a few fairies here, you know, the magic mushrooms. They might be a little bit quirky. They, and this is their escapism. And maybe it's like art, for example, and they draw and that's their, that's their, that's their escapism into a, another realm, another world. But they might dabble in something like that. Nine of Pentacles. I do feel like this person is at a very good point in their career. There's complacency in their career. Um, they might have a creative hobby that they make money from as well. Uh, there's a I feel like this is the muse card so you're going to be their muse they're going to write something about you or tell someone about you or get inspired by a piece of music a piece of art um, an idea of such and it's this is the muse card so I definitely feel there'll be a lot of physical attraction towards you though that they're, they're very in admiration of you okay but look, this person is quite cultured and worldly. I feel like they might be well-traveled. They might embrace different cultures, different cuisines. They might know how to play musical instruments. They might know a fair few languages. They could surprise you in these ways. I think they might be born into money or come from money or have worked their way up in their career. Uh, they're very in a complacent stage in their career as well. Uh, I, I do feel like they're one to live in the moment and be quite present, which is nice. I think it might conflict with your way, way of thinking because you tend to be in your head a lot and that can often distract distract you from what's happening in front of you and being present as such. So that might be a very nice balance, a complementary balance between you and this person, okay? I wanted to take out three cards and three cards popped up. What's interesting is that the devil popped up in this deck when I was shuffling. I just noticed it. So it, it has popped up again. So what's happening here with this devil card? Okay, let's go first into the four of swords. 
definitely air quality somewhere in their chart, which I believe um, the two of you will be quite relatable to each other with the Four of Swords. Now, this can often indicate someone that's quite devoted to religion or spirituality. They could be quite big on meditation or they might need something to relax their mind. Okay, it's, it's maybe they're looking for something to help relax or ease their mind, their mode of thinking, or maybe they find solace, rest, or escapism in one of these things. Um, they might also have had loss about them. Okay, there's a tomb effigy here. They might have someone very close to them that has passed in their life and they could be still mourning that loss. Okay, they might come from a religious or a very traditional family. They could be quite into history or film or architecture, uh, creativity and creating a legacy or leaving behind a legacy. This person might be quite big on that creatively speaking or just in their day-to-day -day life or in their long-term goals they might be very big about doing something in this lifetime or achieving something and you might hear them express something like this and it might all click to you look now the devil card what's going on here could be someone under the sign of a capricorn yes absolutely but the devil card often represents power or struggle, addiction, temptation, submissiveness, dominance, a power struggle here as well. It could be jealousy. It could be someone that's addicted to sex, drugs, alcohol. They might have an addictive personality or a very... It's temptation here, okay? For some reason, there's something about temptation and it's almost like you can't go there with this person. There's something that will hold you back. Either they still might be connected to someone emotionally, they still might be legally married to someone, but there's the notion of you just can't help it. You know it's not good or you know the timing is off, but you still come towards each other. Okay, so for some of you, I mean, it could even be an affair. It could be something that starts off that's purely about the physical. The devil card has a strong sexual connotation to it. So it might be a one night stand, for example, and that eventuates into something more. Suddenly you find yourself surprised about this person and tempted by, the, by, t by them because you want to get to know them more and you're intrigued and you know it's not ideal right now. Maybe you've got something going on with work. There's, there's some sort of facts coming into play here. And it could even be that this person is seen as a player or, you know, something like this, like a woman that's quite promiscuous or a man that's quite promiscuous. And they might get a lot of sexual att attention or have a very extensive sexual path. But it could be a Capricorn, okay? And it doesn't necessarily mean that the Capricorn is associated with devil energy. It just, if we take the sign, if we extract the sign, then it's a Capricorn because you also have the Four of Pentacles, which can be a Capitaurus or Virgo coming through around you here. You might be meeting through career, you might be meeting under unusual circumstances or frowned upon circumstances like maybe excessive drinking at a club, um, you know, an AA meeting, uh, you know, something like this. But some of you might be meeting at a large city through your career, you could be meeting through the spiritual community as well, it could be meeting through creative endeavors or pursuits. The Four of Pentacles, this person is quite guarded. There's an air of mystery about them, and it's. I think this is going to really intrigue you. There's multiple layers to this person that you'll want to uncover and really delve into, which I believe will be an exciting adventure. The Four of Pentacles can also be someone who is closed off to love right now because there's emphasis being placed on career or money-making endeavors. Uh, it, it, it's someone who has a lot going for their, their feet are on pentacles, they hold pentacles. It could be that this person hoards money or hoards success or collects money. It could even be like, they could even be like a debt collector or a, in crediting and finance and, um, you know, collecting funds or benefits or incentives or bonuses or, or something like this as well. They might live at a, a big city, a high rise building. Um, they might be involved in the property market here as well. So there's a few things that are coming up around this person. Hope this reading has been insightful.